Hey folks, this is Fishing Bass NC. Today I'm going to come at you with another unboxing. This time it's going to be the March 2021 Mystery Tackle Box Elite unboxing. Um, but let's talk about a couple things before we get to this unboxing. So I know a couple of you have been commenting and asking me when I'm going to get out fishing again. So today is uh, March, let's see, today is March 18th, 2021. And um, the weather in the last few weeks, or actually probably about a month, a month and a half, has been not really that great um, at the times that I could get out and fish. Um, right now, you know, I just started work recently, a little over two months ago. Um, and right now my time for fishing is really on the weekends. Occasionally I can get out at night. But the weather here in North Carolina just hasn't been cooperating. Um, it's either been very, very cold or it's been rainy or um, icy, um, numerous things like that. Um, but this upcoming weekend, it's supposed to be maybe in the 50s, maybe uh, low 60s. So it should be nice weather to get out there and fish. Um, it's supposed to be sunny. Uh, today and tomorrow, we're going to get a little bit of rain and um, possible uh, some storms here in, in the Carolinas, um, specifically here in North Carolina. Um, but this weekend should be good. So hopefully I'll get, get out and get fishing, get some uh, fishing videos up for you guys very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, let's get to, uh, again, the unboxing for this month's uh, Mystery Tackle Box Elite. All right. So this month, we're going to open it up and start off with a bunch of literature here. So the very first thing we'll do is we'll pull out the sticker of the month. So this is pretty cool. This is, um, this is a fish uh, pumping, some, pumping some iron there, getting his uh, muscles in shape for, uh, for that springtime fishing, getting ready to make those long casts. So that's a pretty cool sticker. I'm looking forward to putting that on my tackle box and uh, put it along with some of the other stickers we have from the previous boxes. All right. So the next thing we have for literature in the box is our usual um, what's, in the, uh, what's in the box. This month uh, we have nine different baits. So here's the list of what's in the box this month. It includes the baits and then the cost of each bait on the side here. Um, there's a little brochure here on the back too about following them on Instagram and uh, adding, you know, some of the some of your catches and also talking about um, the box in general. So we're going to go from top to bottom, uh, go through this. Um, let's talk about a little bit of extra literature that's also in here before we get started with that. Um, next thing we have is the Dibble Tips and Tricks. This month they changed the, uh, looks like they changed the front cover on it. Uh, it's a little different color this month. Um, has a little bit of orange and uh, maybe a little brownish, blackish color to it. Um, and and the the brochure is actually um, it's more like a plastic type of material for the insert. Usually it's in a paper format, so they've uh, they've upgraded it. It's several pages long, which is nice. Um, there's some additional additional literature in here about where to fish, what to fish. Um, but it's, it's got the same same kind of stuff that it normally has, your tips and tricks, information about some of the lures, um, stuff about fishing. It has some uh, stuff about record catches. So it's still the same dibble with the information. However, it's in a little bit different format for the, um, the actual material that it's made out of. So looking forward to reading this. It's several pages long this month, which is really cool. Instead of just a couple pages, but I think we have six or seven pages to read, which is nice. Um, after that, we have a couple other pieces of literature that are inside here. We have one that talks about the uh, one of the um, baits called the uh, Rattlebot. So we'll uh, we'll be getting more to that that bait as we get there. We'll we'll show you what that looks like. But there's a there's a card with some of the uh, literature on the on the Rattlebot. Also in the box here, we have a card on the Guggen Squad clickbait. So uh, we have that in the box and that talks a little bit about the bait. And actually where to fish it so that comes in the box this month as well shows you some um, interesting places to actually throw that bait I've used that bait in the past you've seen a video where I've actually caught fish on it and it works out well so um, the clickbait's a clickbait's definitely a good one to have on, on your arsenal so let's start at the top we got a Yozuri 3d B knuckleball spinner bait it comes in at nine dollars and 99 cents I have to be honest with you I saw this in previous mystery tackle boxes I didn't really know what quite to think about it because I've never seen anything like this before with the uh, little marble ball or marble head type ball at the top. Um, it's supposed to wobble as you're um, throwing it in the water and retrieving it. Um, it talks about some wave motion on the back. 
Um, other than that, it looks pretty cool. The color on it um, looks almost like it's a, uh, I don't know if it really tells a color here or not. I don't see a color on the actual um, package here. But I do see that it is a 3D prism ball and a half ounce. It's sinking. It's um, the knuckle bait. It's basically a spinner bait with that knuckle ball on it um, to give you a little bit of wave motion. But that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to give it a try. See how it works. See if it's really all that or if it's just kind of a gimmick. Um, Foul mouth fishing, he, he talks about a lot of stuff that's that's really, in his opinion, gimmicky. This is probably one of them that I've seen him talk about before that he mentions is a little gimmicky. But we'll see. We'll give it a try. It's a pretty cool color. Hopefully it'll catch something out there. Um, again, that comes in at $9.99. The next thing here is a Booyah Flex 2. That also comes in at $9.99. So the Booyah gave us a square bill crankbait. This is a Flex 2. It's the uh, new bone color. It's, uh, let's see if we have any other information on it. I don't see anything else, but it looks like it's maybe one and a half, two inches long, maybe two and a half inches at the most. But there's your, uh, there's your booyah, booyah in new bone color. Nice, uh, nice bait there. We'll definitely, uh, Definitely be trying that out and seeing how that, let's open that up, see how that works out on the, uh, on the water. I don't think I have anything in this color currently in my crankbait arsenal. So this will be a new color that I'll be able to put in a box. Um, definitely, definitely that bone type color. So you have a little bit of, uh, looks like a bluish greenish on top. Uh, maybe a little bit of bluegill or shad pattern on the side. And of course the white or yellow type bone color on the bottom there. But yeah, that looks uh, that looks juicy. Hopefully that will uh, catch some stuff here. I'm imagining this probably goes about 2 to 5 feet in depth. Looks like pretty much a shallow type uh, crankbait. Square bill. Again, I didn't see a color. I didn't see a depth on it. But most of these that are very similar that I have in my box go about that same depth, two to five feet. Um, the next thing we have is Guggen Squad Clickbait. So that's one of the baits I was talking about that I have in my arsenal already. I d honestly don't remember if I have this color. This one is in the Sexy Shad color. Um, if I do have this, this is in a 3 8 ounce. If I do have this color and uh, size... I will probably be giving this away. Um, otherwise, this will go in with some of my other tackle. But there you go. There's your clickbait. These things work. Um, I've um, I've caught fish on it before. Um, if you take a look at my channel on YouTube, you can definitely find um, you can find a video that says I believe it's called it's titled uh, first first catch of 2021. Um, but that's using the Guggen clickbait, and I caught my first catch of 2021 using one of them that I received for the past Christmas. Um, those come in at $8.99. Um, next thing we have is a Biospawn Rattlebot Crawl. This comes in at $7.99. So there's that Rattlebot Crawl that everybody's been talking about. This is at a half an ounce. It's two and a half inches of length. Uh, it's a lipless crankbait. It's got a little bit of a rattle inside of it, um, but yeah, it looks like it's kind of a crawdad or a crawfish type color here. This is of course made by Biospawn, which is part of the Ketchco company. Here is their uh, here's their actual product right there. Got the Biospawn logo on the bottom. Nice sharp hooks. And uh, nothing else moves on it, so it's just going to be... It's going to be one of those rattling, lipless uh, crankbaits. So we'll have to give that one a try. It looks interesting. 
Um, I know other people have talked about it, said it's really, really a cool bait to use. I haven't used one before, so I'm not sure if it's going to work where I live, but we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll see if it does. Um, that comes in at $7.99. Next thing we have is the V&M Baits J-Pro Z Series Flash J. This comes in at $7.99. So we have the um, J-Pro Z Flash Jig. It's in a three quarters of an ounce in a chartreuse color. Um, other than that, I don't see any other color name on there, but there you go. There's your jig with a little bit of an underspin on it. This is, uh, again, three quarters of an ounce. So it's a pretty heavy jig. I think it's gonna work really well. It's a it's really nice color. Underspins seem to do well. They attract, um, I know they attract fish around where I live. I personally have not fished a lot of these, but I've seen other guys fishing them and catching fish on them. So, uh, there you go. Very heavy head on it, nice hook. A little bit of a hook keeper right there. Bait keeper on it. And that chartreuse color. There's your underspin right there. That's in a silver bladed jig. Or silver blade, I should say. Willow blade. So, yeah. that's uh, That should be nice. I think we'll put a little white or uh, chartreuse trailer on there and we'll throw that one out here maybe this weekend and see how that how that works if it works well or not in some of the waters we're going to all right next thing in the box here is the lake fork tackle live magic shad so i've seen this in other uh videos openings um it's garlic and salt impregnated it says it's the live magic shad by lake fork Looks like a six pack. And these are uh, basically swim baits. So they, you know, they talk about rigging it, you know, like a Texas rig. Um, maybe with a little bit of a, a weight. They also talk about uh, maybe doing it as a wacky rig, um, a nail rig, Carolina rig, jig head rig, drop shot rig, and an umbrella rig. I'll be honest with you, a couple of those rigs I've never thrown before, so I'm not really familiar with them. Um, however, I've thrown the Wacky, I've thrown the Texas, I've thrown the Carolina, and of course, put it on a jig head and uh, all that. So we'll try and uh, put some of those out there and fish those and see how those work. They look like great trailers. Um, they might be big enough to fish alone on the hook. Um... I like I usually like my swim baits a little larger than that, but we could give this a try for the spring and see if anything will bite on that. It's a great color. Looks like a green pumpkin type color. Uh, those come in at $5.99 for the six of those. Um, the next thing we have is the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Shad at $5.29. So this is called the Strobe Strips. Um, there's They're five inches in length. They, uh, they're called the Shimmer Shad in the Violet Shad color. So we have them in a little bit of purple and shad color. These are nice. I like these. Um, these fluke style baits. And uh, they should do well around here. Um, I don't think I have any bait like this that's in a purple or violet color. Um... But to my understanding, it, it works well. So hopefully uh, hopefully we'll do well with that. But 10,000 fish, always some great uh, great soft plastics that they have from Ketchco. So uh, looking forward to that one. Uh, next thing we have is the Gamber Light Otter. It comes in at $2.13. So these are soft plastics. Um, one thing I, I don't like is we... In, this, in these uh, boxes, it seems like every now and then we get sample packs. And this is another sample pack. It's got, uh, what, th uh, four, four of these in the pack. These are three-inch little otter-type baits. Um, obviously, Gambler, Gambler has, a, has a garlic 
type smell to it. So it's very, yeah, very strong garlic. But there you go. There's your, there's your gambler little otter. And again, you know, this is a sampler pack. It'd be nice if they, you know, they had eight of these, ten of these um, in the bag. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's okay to fish with samplers, but, you know, with soft plastics, they get chewed up easily. You lose them quickly. Um, so it's, it'd be nice to have a full bag versus sampler packs. The last item in the box here is some uh, Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Wide Gap Worm Hooks. These come in at $1.50. By the way, the Gamblers, they come in at $2.13 for the four of them. So I guess that's not bad for the price for what you're getting. Again, though, I would love to see maybe a, a eight pack or a 10 pack instead of just a four pack sampler. Um, but anyways, we're here at the Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Wide Gap Worm Hooks. These are $1.50 for three of them, um, which is par for the course. Again, a little sample pack. Um, these are a four aught size. And again, there's three of them. So nothing special there, just some terminal tackle. However, though, it's always nice to have terminal tackle because, you know, as fishermen and fishwomen, we tend to lose those things. So um, having some extra hooks in the in the uh, tackle box is always a good thing. All right, folks. Well, that's uh, that's everything that's in this month's box for, for March 2021 for the Elite uh, Mystery Tackle Box. And um, I got another video I'll be doing soon on some of the rods and reels that are behind me here. I want to show you a few of those that I picked up recently. And... Uh, We'll, we'll get that video out soon. Again, this weekend, I'm going to try to get out there and fish, get some fishing videos for you guys. I know you've been been asking me about them, and I'll, I'm going to try my hardest to get get a few, few of them out there for you to check them out. Um, I'll probably take some of these baits, if not all of these, out, and we'll try some of them. Um, not going to do a slam this weekend, but we'll, we'll get to a slam sometime soon. I know some people have been asking about that as well with this box as well as other boxes that I've received. Um... But anyways, that's going to do it for, again, for this month on, on the Mr. Tackle Box Elite. Um, down in the description below, I'll, I'll leave a link on how you can get your own Mystery Tackle Box and um, how you might be able to save a little bit of money on that. So you might want to check out that link if you're interested in purchasing one of these um, or subscribing to your own. Um, we, can, we can save you a little money by using the link that's in my description. The other thing is, in my description, I'll have other links to some of my other social media sites, such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll also have my YouTube site, which you're already on, um, linked there. You can take those, those sites, and I, I hope you bookmark them. Go out there and follow me on some of those sites, or all of them, actually, if you, if you could. That would be great. Um, while you're here on YouTube, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you're notified when I do leave new videos like this and other videos such as the fishing videos that will be coming up and you'll know when they're posted. Um, you'll also know when I do live videos um, for some giveaways. So I got some giveaways coming up soon too. Um, I mentioned that in a couple other videos. Um, so you'll want to make sure that you're definitely subscribed so that you'll, you'll see when I'm on. Uh, and posting about the giveaways because you don't want to miss those. Um, I've given away some stuff in the past and people have been very happy with, with the items I've given away. So um, I got a good one coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, besides uh, subscribing to this channel, you know, on this video, it also helps if you click on the like or the thumbs up button. That way it helps promote this video so that other people can, um, when they're when they're doing searches out there for fishing videos, they'll be able to uh, hopefully find mine because it'll be somewhere near the top. Um, because you actually liked it. So that'll help me out, build this channel, um, get some new viewers, um, hopefully some new subscribers in the, in the meantime as well. Um, if you want to leave a comment down below, if you want to talk about anything that's in this mystery tackle box this month, um, or anything about the channel, any suggestions you have about upcoming videos, um, feel free to leave a comment. Maybe you like some of these baits. Maybe you didn't like some of the baits. Maybe you don't like mystery tackle box. Maybe you'll love it. Um, you know, either way, put a, put a uh, comment out there. Let me know. And uh, I'll try to respond if it, if it deserves a response. And um, I definitely go out there and I acknowledge that I've read them by usually clicking on a little heart that they've been read. Um, but I'll, I'll respond if, if it needs a response for, it, for, uh, for you. Um, but I appreciate everybody subscribing. I appreciate everybody watching this. I appreciate everybody liking it. Um, I appreciate everybody looking at all the different links and, and, and uh, using those links to get your own um, stuff and also to uh, go out there to my social medias and, and check out those channels as well. 
So uh, hopefully you can share this with folks and uh, pass it on because we want to build the fishing community, not just my channel, but people's channels in general. I listen to, I think, probably close to 100 other fishermen and fisherwomen that are on YouTube, um, all the way from uh, some of the Monster Bass guys, all the way to the, the Guggen guys um, and girls, um, everybody. There's a lot of people out there that I listen to, even folks that aren't affiliated with Monster Bass or um, Guggen or any of those uh, any of those other affiliations with the, with those companies. Um, <clears throat> so I listen to a lot, um, but it's about the community. It's about building it up. So hopefully you guys will uh, will build my channel, get it building up there, and uh, share it with folks that we can build this one along with all the others that are out there. So uh, thanks for everything y'all do, and uh, have a great one. This is Fishing Bass NC. Take care.